Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson, it's Tuesday, and oh boy is it a fantastic evening to play some Astroneer. Will Crosby, Crispers Biskers, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? You know, I'm doing pretty good. How about you, Zachariah? I'm doing well. How are my, you doing, Ian? My voice cracked in the middle. Zachariah! <laughs> um, it's alright, we know. Zachariah has a baby. I need some input on this. I really like the baby name, Jebediah. Hmm. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> Specifically, Jebediah Ezekiel Goober Gibson. <laughs> and All right. It started as a joke. Actually, it started as a song uh, that goes Jebediah Ezekiel Goober. Um, but and then basically a joke. But honestly, I'm kind of committed to it now. Maggie's not a fan. So. Yeah, I'm with Maggie. Well, that just proves just me right think, then. Just think. Just think of your kid growing up. Jeb. Jed. Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Jeb. Oh, do you think, think I said... About, think about... Do you think no, I said... No, no, no. Now I realize that you said Jebediah, <laughs> and <laughs> I just thought the nickname would be Jed. Wait a minute. Think about the other Jebs out there and how respected Jeb, they are in the Jeb community. Bush? Jeb Bush is you kind stop. of respected in a weird way. Clap, please. He's like a baby Republican. They're just like, mm -hmm. he's not that smart, but he's one of the good ones. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, do you think Jedi is short for Jedediah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a second. I got to turn some lights what? down. What? I, I am all the Jedediah. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. What is Jedi short for then? Tell me. Uh, Hi, Abdul. Oof. Okay, so here's the plan. Let me switch it over to the game. Sorry, a bit of a rough start there, but it's been a while. We didn't stream on Saturday because everybody's busy, honestly. We were all busy. Um, yeah, I wasn't even here. So we have the 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 triptych, triptych from uh, Sylvain. Is this Sylvain or Savannah? I don't know. Anyways, we've got seven other planets to hit up get to the core of so i know will you're if you don't remember guys in astroneer basically there are these weird gateway portals i believe is what they're no gateway chambers are on the surface of a planet you have to activate at least one of them on the surface of the planet using basically you hook up power to it depending on the difficulty of the planet depends on how much power you have to provide and then once that's activated then you can go to the core and get into the core of the planet you provide the resource required and that gets you uh, one of these triptych items for that planet. Oh, you basically solve no. the planet. And then um, once you've solved the planet and you have a, a triptych from all the planets, then you can basically complete the game. So we have one planet done. We've got more to go. I'm going to show off first. Will, did you see this little uh, smelting area that I have set up? I did. It was pretty great. I think this is the, the best way to do it. It's still not perfect. But basically, each of these large resource can canisters holds 400 items. And then I have the arms with filters on them. So basically, you the idea is you get off of a shuttle or you get off of a rover and you just drag whatever large storage item you have, you put on the platform. The furnace smelts it and then the arms pull off from it. So it's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> trying to think of other things we did. I know Will recovered his rover. Great job. Yes. Um, it was pure luck. I, the, the second tendril I picked to check had it. So just to be clear, I I was okay with abandoning your rover, not because I wanted to be mean, but because they're actually not that difficult to make now because of our resources. No, I didn't think so, so too, but it just had a bunch of stuff on it. Yeah, that's true. It, it definitely had like 10, 15 minutes worth of effort into it. I'll say that. Um, I've also been building a bunch of RTGs. Uh, I actually have an auto extractor, but it's on a different planet right now, getting some laterite and hematite. So we've we've definitely done some business, but Will, you're heading back with some ammonium. Is that correct? Yes, soon. So once you come back, I think the plan is I have here a rover, a, a shuttle built up with a large rover. It also has, uh, I believe it's seven RTGs on it, two resource, two soil canisters, a paver, a drill, and two extra seats. Well, it'll be three seats total. So basically, that's enough for the three of us to go to a planet, 
go and activate the chamber and then drill to the core and get it done. And I think for our stream, if it's okay with you guys, I think we just do as many of those as we can, like two or three in a row. So I agree. the only thing we need is to solo, you're activating the gateway, Will, or do you need help with that? Uh, I'm doing it right now. But it's almost done. Okay. Oh. I say we hit that one first, and we'll do zinc. So, Zach, if you could help me out here. I am out of slots on my... Yeah, where are you at? Could you grab three zinc and take yeah. that with you? Three zinc and then... Ooh, diamond. I'll make some diamond. Actually, yeah, if you just grab three zinc. Yeah. Because basically the plan is Will gets back, we all hop on the shuttle, we take it to the solo, we pop the core, and then we can come back. I think we'll just have to get some diamonds and stuff, and then we'll be good. Right? What's seven times? Four is 28. Then we can do Glacio next, which is 26. Um, so how you guys been? Yeah, Pretty no. good. Pretty good? Zach, uh, you go. Go first. I've been keeping it together. That's good. Well, <laughs> I heard you, you went on vacation, right? Yes, I went to visit my parental units on the Cape Cod. Is Cape, is Cape Cod nice, or is it just one of those places that people act like it's nice, but it's just a place? It's pretty nice. Oh, that sounds nice. It's nice in the summer. Not, yeah, it's not the greatest. Um, that's nice. Yeah, that's my statement on Cape Cod. Uh, I've been playing. Cape any... Cod is a great place to retire, not a fun place to grow up because uh, for most of the time, it uh, kind of it's kind of just a crappy place in the winter. And there's nothing to do. And when you're 16 or 15, it's kind of just like, I want to do something fun. Well, yeah. if you want some heroin, that's uh, true. It's the place to be. Oh, you guys got a lot of heroin? My uh, my pseudo home county, Carroll County. They got a lot of heroin, too. It's weird. I think it's like the number one place in Massachusetts. Yeah, they made a documentary about it. Yeah. Uh, it's it, The heroin's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's weird because our place is like, there's like no crime in Carroll County. I think there's like less than one murder a year. And it's like a rural farm community. And then we have less than one. in like the 2000s, they just had a crazy spike in heroin. Like somebody brought heroin to the county and all the high schoolers started taking it. Which is just weird. Um, uh, so I got three zinc on me. Okay. Is that so, all I needed? Yeah, that's all you'll need for the core. Maybe you, I'm going to go ahead and try to make some diamonds, which I, I need three diamonds. Maybe I'm I wish I could shine bright. Like a what? Like a diamond. Like a diamond. Um, oh, I need hydrazine for that. Well, let me at least make the diamonds. Yeah, I'm headed back in half a second. Finally got this thing to actually do it. Get enough sun exposure. The uh, stupid uh, mm -hmm. shape of the portal thing blocks, like, half the sun. Oh, that does suck. Yeah, like, I, I really like the solar array, but I also don't like it because okay. it's not super reliable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Zach, do you have space to also take three diamonds? I got tons of space. I got I got four spots. Oh, well, thanks. What do you guys dude. normally carry on you? Uh, Jetpack? Two soil canisters. Uh, my, I have my three my three mods on my drill, mm -hmm. and then usually tethers, so that leaves okay. six spots open. Seven if you count the printer spot. Yep. Okay, and then once Will gets back, we'll make some hydrazine. Yeah, let me make some tethers. I abandon these tethers so I can. Bring more. Oh, okay, I'm leaving you there, Solar. I don't have time to bring you back. 
Um, I saw you watched. Uh, did you watch Hamilton? Will is that correct? I did. Um, did you like it? it? Was, yeah. So I had never listened to the music at all um, because I knew like I really wanted. I knew like I wanted to go see it someday, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to. Not saying tarnish. That's not the right word. But I didn't want to like listen to it and imagine my own version of it. Mm -hmm. Don't and be racist. See it. Yeah. So yeah, everyone was white in my head. No. So I finally went and saw it. Uh, not saw it. Saw it on Disney, the Disney Plus thing. Anyways, yeah. Watched it. It was very good. I did not cry at all. Uh, is the statement I am currently making at this time. Um, Wait, are you supposed to cry at some point in Hamilton? And it's like very emotional. This is uh, well. I'm gonna admit to you. This is a bit of a trap. See, Maggie and I watched Hamilton last night. Yeah. Maggie made it five minutes, and I made it thirty-five minutes, and then we stopped watching. I, I think the second act is much better than the first act. I I think there's two things going on. Number one, I don't like musicals. <laughs> so, I don't like music. <laughs> no. And number two, I don't like music. Uh, I don't like musicals, and also, um, it's just a little weird. There's a lot of background politics going on behind Hamilton. Yeah. And I couldn't really disassociate myself from that and that was the thing that made maggie super mad like within five minutes she was just like this is disgusting he was like he was a slave owner why are you making a musical all about him and all this stuff <laughs> like because she knows all the history behind him and his mistress and all this stuff and it was like good points good points um mm -hmm. i just i don't like musicals but i especially hate musicals where you're not allowed to talk you're only allowed to sing and that's just that rubs me real wrong, you know? Yeah, I. it was funny. I, I assumed there, because I've seen two musicals on Broadway, and those both had, like, talking sections and then singing. Yeah, um, which I'm not saying... No, I will say, that is inherently better. But yeah. it's still bad because it's a musical. But it's a better version of a musical. I, um, I don't know if I made this point on streams before i know it's not accurate because karen looked it up one time mm -hmm. but i uh, don't be racist i prefer pixar movies because in pixar movies there is music and in disney movies characters sing music and i don't like when people sing in movies i like when there's music in movies yeah and i think that's true i can't think of a pixar movie where the characters are actually singing yeah, there's like one or two because we we ended up looking it up, but uh, as a given rule, mm -hmm. I, that's why I don't like most Disney movies. So I, but those, like yeah, characters. but those I'm kind of okay with because and Maggie and I had a decent discussion about this. Like we watched we rewatched Lion King recently, the original one. Um, fantastic movie, still a very good movie. The musical numbers are great, but they also add a lot to the characters and they're well written. And I feel like a majority of mus of songs and musicals are exposition in the form of song, mm. you know, and that's that's bad songwriting where it's it's not songs as a piece of art. It's song as a piece of explanation. Like I am sad. So I'm going to sing a song saying I am sad. I am mad over and over again, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I like I like stories types of songs so mm -hmm. like i like songs that have i like i mean i like song regular songs too but i like when a song just is telling a story there's a lot of like led zeppelin songs that are just like that obviously yeah. like stairway to heaven and stuff like that but i just but, mean like yeah. in like a musical it's more like the character instead of having the character express themselves normally or to like convey their current state through acting they just sing their thoughts out loud it's almost like a monologue through song and it tends yeah. to not be well written, and I think that's that's a, a thing that rubs me the wrong way about musicals as well. Got gotcha. So it's not that they're telling a story; it's that they are using that as a main means of describing a character by having them state out loud who they are. It's kind of like the movie Inception, um, where Ellen Page's character exists solely that Leonardo DiCaprio can explain things to her out loud. Yeah, that's what it feels like in <laughs> in a lot of musical songs. It's just characters explaining things out loud. Uh, where do you want me to put this uh, ammonium? Oh, uh, put it all on here. So we can make some hydrazine. 
Where's here? Oh, next to you. Oh, that's you. Sorry, yeah, that's you used me. to blue. Sorry, I didn't even see you come back. I was waiting for you to come back in the show. I was standing right next to you for so long. Um, yeah, so I, I got to the intermission, and I was, like, kind of into it, because, like, I like the historical part of it yeah. and everything. Like, I, unlike a lot of people, I know it's not historically accurate. Like, so many people are, like, swearing by it. Like, yes. this happened, this happened. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. that's, no. Um, yeah. And I get the, like, there was a great article on... Uh, I think Polygon wrote it actually about how it Hamilton now has different meanings to it because all this stuff wasn't happening back in 2015. Like they weren't trying to say things oh, about what's happening now, obviously. It, that it is a different contemporaneous in 2020 yeah. versus 2015. Yeah, but exactly. The other, and the other thing is, I don't know if that article touched on it, but it's been coming to light that Lin Manuel Miranda is not exactly spotless in terms of his father is part of like the corrupt Puerto Rican government <laughs> and has basically been part of that, that corruption and the downfall of Puerto Rico as a modern democracy. <laughs> oh, and, and like Lynn has come out in support of that. And it's like, Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you are a terrible person or not a terrible person, but it's like, you're not as squeaky clean as it, as it comes across. Yeah. As. Um, is there not, there's not enough room for this stuff to, to no, make it's, no, you just had to start it. Oh, 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 it's all good. Okay, so I think um, I need to grab one of these so, for the rocket. I lost okay. connection to the server and jumped back in, uh -huh. but my jet, everything is gone. Jetpack, I basically have what I had when I started this, like, oh. the start of the stream. That's weird. I'm really really confused as to what happened because normally i would expect that to be saved on the server side yeah right yeah i left all my stuff on the on the moon yeah. so i have so, nothing hello to gibson renee in the chat yeah this this game is online we're playing all three of us are playing um we're getting ready to adventure to another planet so another what planet. Do, how many diamonds do we have two diamonds I need to make some graphene. Okay, Will, would you be able to carry three diamonds with you? Yes, I have nothing. Okay. All right. You are nothing. You all want some uh, hydrazine, my... you better grab it now. Oh yeah, let me take one. My half theory seems to be correct that everybody who lives near me, uh, Oh, I'm not going to say that phrase. Uh, oh. Used up all their uh, fireworks over the 4th of July, and now <laughs> no one is setting off fireworks anymore. Because <laughs> I was kind of hoping, oh, like, yeah, 4th of July, you just use up all your fireworks. Yeah. And I think, like, the grocery store stopped selling the little, like, like starter packs. So mm -hmm. we're all good now. Okay, so there should um, be there's going to be three diamonds here for you to take. Okay, three diamonds. Yeah, there's two here, one being made. Um, I do have a drill on the moon already, just to let you know. Oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to bring mine because I think we can go from the moon to directly another planet anyways. No, that's fine. I'm just I, I brought a bunch of stuff over there because I started earlier today and I was going to build a rover and everything on the moon and go to the center. So I brought yeah. a bunch of stuff already. Uh -huh. That's OK. We'll, we'll have it as backup. Yeah, the. You can't you don't get power as much from lines unless there's an oxygenator on the planet yeah connected to it. maybe because it's the shuttle yeah okay so Is everybody kept... let's all hop in this large shuttle there are two seats on the tower that you guys should be able to hop onto uh, uh, do you need me to take more diamond with me or will grab that all we'll grab diamond right you have three diamond yeah, three. and zach you have three zinc yeah, and there was no more hydrazine. Mm, no, I think it got. I got, used. I got a full bottle, so it's okay, all right. Okay, yeah, should be good. Wait, do, do I get in the rover seat? Yeah. Oh, this is. It's terrible. it's it should work. Okay, let's party, boys. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we're in there. So the other thing I did. 
I feel like this is this is worth talking about. It's it's a bit of a humble brag. I, well, there's nothing humble about it. I bought a new TV. <gasps> um, Finally. Yeah, uh, but honestly, my TV is not that bad. It just has ghosting that is visible in some scenes, but you can ignore it. It's the worst. It's not the worst. It's not like OLED it's worst. The, it's the worst. Which is bad. But we're going to solo. <laughs> um, and it's t it's 1080, which is not that big of a problem. But basically, Maggie was complaining because, you know, during these streams, she has to, like, be quiet and disappear because it's... My condo is basically living room, kitchen, dining room, nook, and my computer all in one big room. So, oh no, which one am I? I guess I'm clicking. It's any one of those, the two like overlapping ones. Yeah. Um, so she was complaining about that. So I cleaned out the second room. I was gonna put my office in there. And then she was like, well, actually, I don't want you to do that. Cause then you're gonna be stuck in a different room most of the time. So then I was like, okay, well, what if we just get you a TV? for the bedroom and that way you can just go in there and watch TV in there when I'm streaming. And she was like, yeah, sure. Do you guys have this problem with your um your jetpack where after you change planets you have to like move around the fuel for it to work properly? Yes. I also have the thing it was weird, I was playing earlier today and it was not letting me use my uh digging tool at all. Oh, that is weird. I had to keep popping back in and out. Why do I not? Okay, that goes there. Okay, so oh, I forgot the three diamonds. So if I did this right, then this should fully unpack. And we should be good to go, basically. There we go. Yeah, see, I can't take my gun out. Yeah, it's weird. It's, oh, it's yeah, like yeah. not letting you put my gun away. Yeah, I have that too. So the, the best way is to go into the shuttle because that does like a soft save and then leave the server and come back. So if you guys want to do that now. Oh, one at a time, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have to be one at a time. So I can go first if you want. Okay. Okay, I think I think we're good. So this gives me 28 power. Has a paver and a drill. We actually have some extra slots, but I think it's okay. And I have two soil containers, so we should be good. Um, so anyways, while you guys are doing that, I'll continue my story. So then I was like, I was looking at TVs for the bedroom. And the, the problem is I don't want to spend money on something that's bad. I don't want to just go to Walmart and buy a $200 TV because I would not live with myself like that. You know what I mean? Oh boy, somebody's real glitching out on stream. Yeah, they are. Um, and I was like, okay, so I got down to a 50 inch, like mid series TCL TV, 4k with Roco TV, which is what I need because I don't want to hook anything else up for $300. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But then I was like, wait a minute, I'm going to spend $300 on this TV. And then at some point in the next year or two, I'm going to replace my main TV for like $700. So I'm basically going to be spending a thousand dollars on an okay TV and a slightly better TV over the next year, year and a half. And then I started looking around and I was like, well, what if I just buy a better TV now and I put my current TV in the bedroom? And don't worry if you're not following. This is just the logic that I convinced myself to buy a $1,000 65 inch TCL 8 series TV. Nice. And the reason why I got that one was for this weekend only. And I bought it at 11.30 at night on Sunday night, and it went back to the normal price on Monday. That TV is normally $1,800, and Best Buy had it on wow. sale for 1000 And people said, all the reviews were like, it's a really good TV, the only problem is $1,800 is too much because you can get like an OLED for that much. So basically, it's supposed to be a fantastic TV at $1,000, and I'm happy I got it. So I'm gonna install that this weekend. Nice. Hi, it's Nugget. Gotcha. Is that gotcha referring to uh, gotcha mobile games? Is that is that what they're called? I think so. Yeah, okay. I, I like my TCL. I have a, I think it's a 55. Yeah, yeah, because they go 55, 65. And you you have the six yeah. series. The six series is great. That's what my parents have as well. And I was yeah. for a long time I was considering getting that. But when I saw this go on sale, and I kind of did the price math, I was like. 
I, I needed the 65 inch, so your 65 inch TV is 750 normally. And then it's 1800 to go up to the next series level. But because it's only a thousand, yeah. I was like, hop on it. Um, okay, are we ready or no? I'm loading back in. Okay. Gotcha life. What's gotcha life? I've never heard of that. You guys heard of that? G A C H A no. life? No. I've heard of Gucci. Um, will Gucci you? life? Can you? I learned a thing about baseball today. What did you learn? That there is not a separate group of batters. It is the people who do <laughs> the offense. But, the, okay. The defense. That's 95% that correct. In the Nat American League? I can't remember. In one of the leagues, they have a position called designated hitter, which is where instead of the pitcher having to hit, it's somebody else that comes in and hits for them, if that makes sense. Oh, that's even more. Yeah. So basically, there's two leagues, National League, American League. One of the leagues, the pitcher has to hit the same as everybody else in the field. And in the other league, the pitcher doesn't have to hit. There's somebody who their only job is to come out oh, and hit for the pitcher. Hit for them. Yeah. Well, because we were doing a we're doing this betting series for my job, and I know nothing about sports, mm -hmm. so it's like, oh yeah, say the, the they're like say the shortstop and the catcher get replaced when they're up at bat. I'm like, how are they up at bat if they're being the shortstop and the catcher? <laughs> and they're just like, will. I'm oh, like, what? Um, are we are we all ready? Yes. What are we I'm ready good. for? Okay, so gonna, uh, wait, I won't so get you, in yet. you're drilling, will? Because you already activated the, the, the chamber. That. Oh. Wait, no, wait, no wait, I don't sorry. have to drill. No, no, I'm sorry. There's two things to do on each planet. We activate yes. the chamber, which is on the outside, and then we go to the core. Yes. You've already done the chamber, right? Yes, I, I activated the chamber. Okay, One in of the that gateway. case, I'm going to leave that off just because we don't have to mess with it if we don't have to. Yeah. I'm going to put this seat on... And then I believe, well, oh no, we need a, um, we need power. I guess I'll put that. Oh no, where did that go? Oh, it's on my backpack. So the only problem with this configuration is we don't have a beacon on the rover. But let's oh, I put a beacon on me. Yeah, I have a beacon on me as well. But I'm saying if we lose the rover. But I'm okay with that risk. Okay, are we ready? Let's let's let, let's let Zach drill. Zach, you want to go? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're the one that made Ian push away from his desk last week and roll his eyes. <laughs> was that me? I mean, was yeah. that? After Zach made us fall back in, you were like... <laughs> Everybody's got to look. I think I'm less... I, I've learned that it's harder to to fail completely on this game. Oh, yeah. I still don't know how... I, I wish my side was recorded so you could see <laughs> that it literally... You hopped out and it it all moved over to me and it just was drilling and I was just sitting <laughs> there going, oh, weird. Yeah, what, uh, that was weird because I, I had it off and you didn't hit the button, so it switched over to you no. and immediately started. Yeah. That's weird. I was. I, I think I was right clicking <laughs> and like moving around looking and you were just like, yelling. And I'm like, who's he yelling at? <laughs> Everybody. I know. I, I had to go back and get the stupid other oh, trailer to let me move that for you because that's gonna that's gonna glitch us out okay party time let's go to the core let's go oh man it's already it's already just not moving great on my screen. oh no oh it just lagged out are you still oh, no. are you still here no no i am not here oh no <laughs> Oh, he <laughs> has, I think he has control. <laughs> oh no, wait, stop. <laughs> Can you just try and rejoin? I'm trying to. Okay, maybe Zach doesn't drive. Cause he's, he's glitched okay, out he's twice. Gone. Oh, okay, I'm driving. <laughs> You're driving wait from for back there. Uh. Um. Yeah, 
lots of fun over here. We're just Astron. It's Dude. it's so weird. Like this game is so complicated, and I forgave it a lot when it was in early access for having a bunch of bugs and glitches. But it feels like there's more here that they need to fix. Oh no. Zach is having a good time over there. Is he trying to spawn? I think he's trying to spawn him back yeah, in the vehicle. I'm, I'm loaded in right now. Oh, my. Four. <laughs> I like how I, I come with you. Oh, no. I don't have my work lamp. That's wait, my... wait. So, well, Zach, Zach, what are you seeing? Uh, I'm just loading solar system. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Sure. So, we moved the rover. So, you're just kind of glitching out in front of us where the rover was. Yeah. Oh, I was driving uh, the three-seated rover uh, mm -hmm. earlier today, and no matter what, I was it would seat me inside the rover and not in the seat, oh. facing the side of the car. I, I will say though, at least, um, at least, <laughs> the last time I played this a couple of years ago when it was in early access, you couldn't really use the rovers because half the time it would glitch into the ground and then disappear. So like you would park it and it would glitch into the ground and disappear. So at least they're usable yeah. now. Hey, I'm back. I'm it here, takes guys. a lot longer to load now, I notice. Oh, oh, there you are. All right, yeah. I'm ready to drive. <laughs> Good party time. I love me and drive now. So it, it may look like I'm driving erratically, but on these small planets, you have to be careful. You have to keep turning? Yeah, because you may miss the core. It's possible to just drill through the planet. That's awesome. If you go straight. Hey! Man, this one was pretty easy. Yeah, Can we leave it out. here and just go down? Uh, I, I got out just in case. Oh, no, wait, there's a tendril right to us. I'm, I'm going to try and drive to that tendril. Oh, I see. To it. the left of us. If you want to hop back in. go so yep. weird. Because I'm just worried we may not have enough jetpack to get back, and then we have to find the rover again. Okay, let's see. Come on, take me down. Why isn't it going down? Maybe it's... Where? I bet you could you could pave her over to it right now, right? Where is it now? Is that it? Dead ahead? I mean, is it? Oh, can you not? See? There's a tendril just to our left or to our right. I mean, like how close? <clears throat> I mean, it's a distance, but you could just pave over to it. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe if I have enough dirt. I think I do. Oh, yeah. Close. There we go. That's where it goes weird. Uh. I think. <laughs> I think. Here, I'm gonna get out oh, and oh, cut that oh. piece. Oh. No wait. It. It thinks we're. It's trying to flip us in and out. Oh, I got thrown. I got thrown. Let's too. just park it here. Oh let's no! I, I didn't get thrown. I'm in. Oh no. Let's let's just leave it here. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get rid of this because it was really getting stuck on it. Yeah. Okay, let's go on down, boys. So remember, we get we get oxygen down here, so we should be okay. Oh, oh, that broke me. That broke me. Oh. <laughs> this reminds me of... Were you... I don't think this was on the... Was this on... Oh, it was on the Pavlov VR stream. When... Do you remember when I opened that falling map and it just, like, spawns <laughs> you in an area where you're falling? That immediately got my gut. I was just immediately oh, like, Whoa! and just closed oh, my eyes. You guys are on the wrong side. Uh oh. You can run up the sides. Uh, yeah, or I think Zach has this. This should be zinc, I believe. Actually, let me double check. Yes, yeah, this is, is zinc. zinc. Yeah. OK, what do, where do I put it? You put In it the on middle. the middle. No, don't you put it on the other side? I believe we were on the right side. Oh, oh sorry. You're, you are right. That's my bad. I'm thinking one step ahead. Yeah, so here is where, where you, you get put the triptych to put it. Yeah, and I think we should all grab one just to be safe. Okay, grab one. Okay, 
I'll grab this one. I guess you really only need one. Yeah. But it's it's weird because the so wiki we says cool. you need two, but there's three platforms, so. Oh my goodness, it won't let me grab this sink that's on my... Why won't it let me grab this? Oh, I don't know. I think... Okay, try to put something else on top oh, of it. Oh no. Guys, which one was the rover on? Oh. Um... It was upside down in I think that direction. I think it's... I'm going to go to this one. You can't leave yet. Oh, because you didn't... What do I have to do? I was I was going to let you act. You just put the triptych on it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I didn't do this last time, so... Oh, right. Nice. Okay, but I don't want to teleport. Okay, so I... We landed where you guys are, right? Like, when yeah, I felt... I it's this tendril directly above us. Oh, yeah, because you can see the You pillar. can see it. Okay, yeah. you guys ready? I didn't... I didn't get that last zinc on. I can't... I can't access this zinc. As long as one person has a triptych, right? Yeah, I have it. Is it? Okay. We should be good. Which... Oh, I got a... Okay, so we're going to this one. The one I'm on. Okay, Zach, you following? Oh, no. I am. No, I'm not there yet. What's the easiest way to get there? Does that make so, sense? What as, the... as soon as I leave the center, it's flipping me around. Uh, if, just walk off the edge and go uh, jetpack up to it, and it'll s slip you onto it. Oh, I see now. Yeah, it was that camera flip that was freaking me out. You okay, Zach? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Sorry, just having, oh, having no, I just, issues. I just didn't want to leave you behind. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm going to flip it. You ready? Yeah. I think we're good. All right, you want to you drive, Will? Ah! Uh, sure. Sorry, which tendril was it? So if you look Can at... Can you see the beacon? Probably not. So if you look at the tendrils, you'll see one of them has a ramp on it. Attached to it. So you stand on the, the side that you put the resources on. Yep. And then look out. You Can you, can you see me now? If you turn around. <laughs> Straight ahead. Straight ahead, this one right here? No, 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 no. Turn... <laughs> Oh no, where land, am I going? Land, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can drive up the tendrils, I believe. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it, Let's all get I in the rover. In, I got in and it just immediately, whoop, just gone. <laughs> all right. Okay. What? <laughs> Oh, that hurts That's me. the one we want. Yeah, that's the one. So I think if I dug the tunnel properly, you should be able to just drive up that ramp all the way to the surface. And then we pack it back up in the shuttle. Oh, this is... Oh, oh. my lord. And then can you can you flip it now? Oh, 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 I got out. Yeah. And then you gotta very carefully, but don't get close to, too close to the tendril. Yeah, that's what they have to fix. It's the, that camera stuff. Yeah, it sh it should not flip the camera. Wow, this one was pretty easy. Yeah, I think I think we're better at it now. It's not as deep. So I think once we get back up there, I have packagers. We'll just package up what needs to be packaged. Oh no. Where is that other? I think it's two. Yeah. But where's the other ramp side? Oh, right here. Behind us. Got it. Someone Ooh. just fell past. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. Probably one of the some of the plants will like spit stuff at you. Oh, so when I rescued the other thing, I didn't have a paver, so I had to keep driving until I found walls long enough to let me 
oh. dig through them rather than cave. And there were a couple times I had to get out and bridge gaps with my yeah with my tool. That was the other it thing. Was crazy. I was like, if it was really hard to get the rover. Oh, yeah. look at that. Awesome right, job, here we yeah. are. All right, so let's throw everything onto this resource canister silo. And then I'll package up the rover. So there's some stuff that's not... Oh, the seats definitely have to go on. Oh, yeah. So that's one, two. Um, there's three seats on here. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'll package this, this. Oh, yeah. This. And this. Nice. Oh, that got attached to it. I picked up the two things. Okay, perfect. So then I'm going to put that on there. Is there... Well, no, I think we're pretty much f full. We ready for the next planet? Yes, sir. All right, so the next planet oh, is... Sorry. <laughs> uh, next planet like is Glacio. Glacio. Glacio! That's a free spell from Harry Potter, you know? It's a me. Glacio. Ian, I'm almost done with Yakuza. You're, you're pretty close last time yeah. we talked. So I was playing it a bunch today, and... The only annoying thing is they kept doing, like you'd have like a whole long mission uh -huh. and then they'd be like, put you back in the open world. Yeah. And basically you're just running to the next long mission. But with the theoretical, you can run around and still do stuff. Yeah. But it's like the end of a book where you just want to keep reading. Yeah, so, like, so you're just like. I was yeah. like, why are you giving me these opportunities? Like, I understand why, but I just want to keep playing. Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. here's the good news. I already know where the chamber is, so... Why didn't we land on the landing pad? It's it's because it still lets you select the landing site. Oh. So it's kind of weird. All right, let me unpack this. I think I'd like to play this game in a single-player capacity in, like, two years. Or maybe a year out. Like, the next time they add something. Yeah. Because the updates have been pretty good. All right, so who's got... I've the drill and the paver. I've got the drill and the paver. All right, you want to put that Bring on the it front? Over. I think that's what bogged me down again, is like, I log in and you've done a bunch of stuff and I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. So Sorry. then I just log off. Okay, y'all ready? Yes. Um, I should, I'm going to put the triptych here. I'm going to leave it here. Oh, yeah, but put it on the shuttle. Huh. I'm going to put a beacon it, on every year. Yeah. I'm going to change it to red. Okay. Uh, where's the other? There it is. Yeah, there's one up front. There's one in the back. Zach, do you want to come or do you want to hang behind? Yes. Sorry, I couldn't put my drill away. Oh. Yeah, this game, oh. it's, it's like I, I, I'm fine with some bugs in the game, but... This game's been out for a while, and they're still having issues with bugs yeah, that are pretty right bad. Click off the screen. Okay. Let's party. Nice. So I've already found where to go on this planet. We just have to get there. Sick. <laughs> you look great on the back. Thanks. <laughs> I think you can actually control it from the back, if I'm not mistaken. Like, if he was the only one on here. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think... There it is. Straight ahead. Perfect. Uh-oh. Running out of soil.
Look at that. And hook us up as I fall off. Oh, sorry, one second. I need to dig up the center. Oh, uh. that's the wrong way. Yeah, I, I really like how they do this because there's a power requirement, and I think you also have to do it for like 20 or 30 seconds, which is great. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's a whole bunch of hematite over here. I'm gonna, I'm, let's, um, oh no, I have, do I have resource containers in the back? Oh, I don't. Let's go grab a bunch of this real quick. Yeah. Hey. Ow! Oh! I'm dead. What happened? Uh, I don't know, but that happened to me the very first one I ever activated. If you're standing near the gaze thing when uh -huh. it activates, it just kills you. Oh, it's like a collision thing? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's yeah. supposed to happen or I just happened to be in the wrong place. Okay, so if you follow the tethers, you should yeah, be able to come, come on to us. Yeah. I forgot that you spawn in the... Uh... So after this, we go to the core. We've got diamond. And then I think after that, we have to go back home and plan for another planet, if we want to do another planet. I think we basically have one more stream. I don't think we finish it tonight because we technically would have six more planets after this one. I think that's too much for one stream. But I think after this, on our own free time, we can figure out, the get the rest of the planets now that we have a good plan going. And the mm -hmm. next stream is end game which is where we go to the portal and we do a bunch of stuff and also um, glitches because there's some crazy glitches that we may be able to crash the server. I think the server's only crashed once, as far as I can tell. All right, shall we, boys? Uh, it's Will's turn to dig. My turn. Oh, I'm just driving back, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point, though. Let's put some hematite on here. We oh, I can't control it from back here. Oh, you can't? I oh, could. That's lame. Okay. We hop in. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be on the back. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. I'm going down. I forgot. Yeah, let's go down. Uh, hold on, Will. Hold on, Will. I'm not going. There we I'm go. Just do you, wanna, you don't have to if you don't want to, but we maybe we should drive back to the base so we pop out near the base. Oh, uh, that's smart. Or we can pop out here. We know where we are. It's up hey. to you. Um, okay, so V for the or for the yeah, drill. V for the drill. The paver turns on C with the, the drill. With the drill. Okay. Yeah. And then because this is a relatively small planet, I would just take turns every now and then. So I would just angle all the way down and take turns. You, but that guy's in the way. Yeah, okay, I was waiting for it to disappear. Um, and then I think the plan we came up with on De Solo is. Once you get close to the core, slow down. We want to find a tendril instead of just dropping it, or or yeah. bridge to a tendril. Well, we're looking good. The other thing I'm I want to do with all my might. Oh, no, you're doing fine. The other thing I want to do with this game is get all the research, because that's got to be an achievement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Oops. It's a shame we didn't have room for resource canisters, otherwise we would be gobbling up all this stuff. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait, stop real quick. Is that is that copper? We're super low on copper, aren't we? I'm going to ditch my hematite and get copper. Yeah, there's also, like, biological on our thing, so you could get rid of that. Oh, that's titanite. Never mind, we got plenty of titanium. Sorry. Everyone in? No, uh, back not yet. There we go, I'm in. Okay. I'm in. We gotta be in close now. 
Wow, not yet. Oh, the other thing I did was I set up the atmospheric centrifuge to automate. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's this weird little thing I found in a YouTube video, but basically it, it drains a battery and then there's a battery sensor that says the battery is now full when it recharges it and then it flips the switch. So basically it's not supposed to be automated, but now it's automated. Oh, whoa. Oh, this planet's much bigger than I thought it was. Look at all that. Look at these weird things. Yeah. So the, the cool thing is while you're digging, like when you come back up on Sylvain or Sylvana, whatever it's called, you just take these dirt canisters off, the soil canisters, and then you can do like 20 or 30 runs of the atmospheric centrifuge. Like you just set it to like graphite, you press go and it just goes. You can walk away from That's it. That's crazy. And then I have resource canisters on it now too, so it's just like automated storage. It's it's awesome. And this planet's bigger than I thought it was. I'm also I, I'm only digging horizontal. Do you want me to go down? No, I mean you are going down. I, I was joking. <laughs> there, there it is. Okay, okay. So I would. S there's a tendril to the right. So if you bridge to the right there's one pretty close gotcha. by i'm waiting for this thing to despawn i don't know if it's going to actually yeah um to you have plenty of soil so you should be able to bridge to it uh how do i turn on just the paver you you don't you, you turn on the drill i don't need to yeah okay uh oh uh, yeah it's not gonna really, really don't want to move You gotta aim down a little bit. Yeah, this giant thing in the way is great for driving. Do you want me to just stop here? Oh, I got out. And then we jetpack over um, to it? Yeah, because that way oh, no. we don't have to oh, deal no. with the like, weird gravity stuff. What's going me, on? There me... we go. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That seems recoverable. All right, let's party, boys. Party, boys. Oh, this is the main tendril. Oh. That'll make it easy, right? Yeah. Maybe. Now we remember what tendril it is. I guess there's two main tendrils. Maybe just one. So we're the main tendril under the resource deposit. So this should be oh, 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 diamond. Okay, who brought that? Every time it's funny. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't come inside. Oh, sorry. Oops. Okay. No. Okay, I'll grab this one. You want to go deposit yours, Will? So we can open it. Sure. That last one's for Zach. I couldn't grab the zinc. It's still on my <laughs> my character. <laughs> I unlocked the Tundra suit. Mm. Let's see what that is. Me too. Let's look at it. Oh, I'm totally wearing that. That looks good. Do you notice that the animations change as well? Oh, do they? Uh, at least I think they do. So if I'm wearing the the exo suit, see I like run straight. Right? Are you in front of me? Yeah. Now. now oh run. yeah. Mine are different. Isn't that cool? This is like a waddle with the bigger ones. Yeah, I'm waddling. The suit. I want more, waddle, waddle. more color patterns. I got a bunch. Okay. I assume we have the same. Are we ready? I think we go down and then main tendril. I just don't know where. Oh, there it is. Who plugged in hematite? Oh, that was me. Huh. Got room now. So I think we go back to the main base, do a little housekeeping. I don't know if we want to hit another planet. It's already 10 o'clock. It's up to you guys. What are some yeah, other things? Really 
other than the end game and unlocking all the research that you guys want to do in this? I want to drive all the way up out of the atmosphere. Yes, that's glitch string, because apparently that'll go bonkers. So we'll do that at the end of next stream. <laughs> What's... All right. Shall we, boys? Oh, no. No, stop it. I don't. I want to be on this gravity. Uh, Where am I? Oh, I'm oh, below the forward. seat. It's rolling forward. There we go. All right, Goobers, let's go. Where am I on your guys' screen? You're in your seat. Okay, I'm below the seat on my screen. Oh, no. Yeah, you're below the seat on my screen as Zach's well. Zach's I, I, below now. I kept trying to get in your uh, seat, Will. Uh, yeah, you're not backing up right. Uh, Do you want me to dig that out a bit for you? Yeah, if you could just dig out these things. Okay, I'll try. They're not really disappearing, but I can at least... Um, broaden this for you so that you can pull your 12 point maneuver there why are you backing up directly into it uh because i i can't see oh. around this okay let me get on stupid can Sorry, you not, can you not see my... you need me to guide you uh, i got it now it was that oh. stupid giant <clears throat> canisters in the way oh come on you got this and the gravity is low so you're in, right, Ian? Yeah, I'm in. Let's party. Right. The gravity's low, so every time I make a tiny maneuver, oh, you're like bouncing to a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the other. I definitely want to. Maybe I'll look at some of the achievements because some of the achievements are things like, I'm not going to 100% this game because 100% is one of them is activate all of the gateway chambers on every planet, which yeah. is oh wow. Yeah, like because the planets have six, the moons have two. And that just doesn't quite I feel seem like that's just worth busy effort. work. Yeah. Um, but I think one of them has to do with like the soccer ball. So you can unlock and build the soccer ball in the hoop. Something with that. Did you see the zebra ball? I did. Yeah, I think you can. I think it's called like a beacon or an artifact. There's something you can do with it. It's it's no, it's the lighting test ball from Unreal. Yeah, yeah. No, I just mean, I think you can do something with it. Oh. Yeah, I put it in the research and it didn't do anything. Don't do anything. But, um, I just think it's funny. I'm trying to think. Hi, Karen. Uh, oh, oh. I can only see one side of the vehicle at a time. I also want to make a full four train of large rovers with as much like resource canisters on it, and then just like oh. go digging and just literally just fill it up with a bunch of stuff. Because I saw somebody made it, and it, excuse me, it looks like a stegosaurus. Like, it has just a bunch of spikes off of it. Some of these angles I was digging at. Crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. <sighs> Daddy saved it. Party time. What? Oh, God. The thing didn't load. <laughs> yeah. I. Well, we're, like, on the same, the same DC. loading thing. The crazy thing is... I, I paid some pretty penny for the server because I, I knew it may have performance issues and I didn't want it to happen. So, like, this is like the top tier performance server. Oh, this and, is so glitchy for me. Yeah, I think it's like half of it is the game and the other half of it is the game server code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still a great game, though. I would definitely recommend yeah. it. I think it's like 30 bucks if you don't have Game Pass, but you should just get Game Pass. Whoa! We're back. Sick. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm gonna load her up. Oh, yeah. I don't have my cryptic because it got used. If somebody wants to move the cryptic that's on the shuttle. So I can put both of these. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Does somebody have... Oop. Oh, we don't... Does anybody have any graphite? No. No. Oh, boy. Oh, to package everything. Yeah, I, I can only... go looking for some. We could always come back. There may not even be any on this planet. Is there an atmospheric? Maybe I'll build an atmospheric condenser real quick. Because it's only one graphite. Oh no, almost died. I mean, soil centrifuge is two compound, one aluminum. Maybe we just go back like this. We leave the rover. Because we can come back for it at a later date. 
What do you guys think? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because we're taking the important stuff, which is the power, the drill, the paver, the soil. So I think we're okay. Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Oh, no. We got to put... For graphite. Yeah, put chair seats on there. Yeah, we got to put at least one more seat on there. So if somebody wants to take those... Or maybe I'll just ditch this organic. We don't need the organic. Yeah, we don't need organic. All right, I'm going to ride on the outside. Okay, I'll go on the inside. Hi. <laughs> I made the seat. This Everyone's is, in? Yeah, this is so good. I love that you can do this. What I, planet should I fly to? And screw us. <laughs> no, because we have... We've got plenty of fuel. Dang it. Let's go home. Okay, now I have to find home. You guys, how are you guys feeling? Not. You want to keep going on the stream or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm, I may, I may bow out, okay. but you guys can keep playing. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. You're not. Yeah, don't stop us. Stop. I think I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting so glitchy. It's just not, not fun. Yeah. That's understandable. Maybe I'll reboot. Actually, I think the server reboots every night at 4 a.m. Let me look that up. Let's look up. Hi. Will, do you remember what server? Nitrato? Yeah, I think yeah, that's Nitrato. it. They do the ARC ones, too. I also think, like, they just added dedicated servers, so there must be a lot of... Yeah. Well, a couple patches ago, but still it's like... Yeah. Some of these glitches are not server-related. Automated tasks. Last run. Game server restart. Last run. Why is it... Why Three is... weeks ago. This timestamp at the end of it says UTC plus two. Why would you... Why would you say the time zone, but then add hours on top of it? That is so Ugh. stupid. This was um, midnight. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's Weird. keep playing. Yeah, I'll keep playing. I'm gonna. What do I have? Tight night. Might as well dump it. Like. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna dump. Where should I dump everything? So if it needs to be smelted, then. Dump it. One second, let me get it for you. Dump it on that. Yeah. Uh, stupid question. How do I know if it needs to be smelted? Uh, what's what's the, what's the material? Uh, hematite. Yeah, needs to be smelted. Yeah. That, that turns into iron. And then triptych, put that on this display over here. How many do we need for the end game? We need one from each planet. Oh, I see they're labeled differently. So we have three now. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna line them up like like this. Smart. Uh, is that including the moons or no? Yes, including the moons. There's only eight planets and moons total, so it's not terrible. Gotcha. Oh, do you guys know how these resource canisters work? Yes. Yeah. They were confusing for me for a while, but they're basically like faucets. Like, you turn it on, it dumps it. Once you pull stuff, you need to turn it... You need to disable the output so it sucks it back up. Yeah. I yeah. just hate the half-step ones that happen. What do you mean the half-step ones? Like, you... If you... If it starts making one and you turn it off, it's like half-built. Oh, and it looks weird? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna have some iron now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go get some copper. I know where some is. So slightly more excusable, or actually, you, well, why don't you take the? Um, you could take the rover oh, and I, just drill through it. Or I could take if you want to, take an RTG, build an auto extractor because you get 15 times the resources, and put storage next to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or I could go drill it. Um, 
I did an auto extractor on one of the planets, and it's actually pretty cool. It's just a little slow, and like if you're on a deposit that has two different items on it, you can't pick which item it pulls. Oh, I need to make a drill bit. Is that small printer? Why don't you just grab it off the shuttle? Oh, I didn't want to take it in case uh, you went somewhere, but I'll take it. Well, we've only got one rover here right now, anyways. All, All right, right, boys, I'm gonna boogie Bye, off here. Jack. Bye, baby boy. Daddy loves Bye. you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yes. Thanks for playing. Of course. Thanks for having me. I'll see you guys next time. God, Bye. I hate that guy. Is he gone? Bye. Oh, God. What a real. There's a real downer with that Sorry, baby real. stuff. Oh, oh, on my when I came back up too, I had the winch. So I was dragging this huge, like that huge piece of space station. Oh, you just really? Like, all the way back, but it like broke off and flew away. Oh my God. I was like, oh, I'll just stop. Oh, bye, Zach. Hi. Thanks for, we love you. He's still in the chat. Don't say anything bad about him. So this Astronium, you should be able to research it, but I put one of them in, in the... I think one of them I researched. It's so weird. Look, okay. I'm going to grab a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of storage things over there. I'm going to throw on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great because, oh, you probably also want some soil canisters. No, I'm not going to. But I mean, pave. so you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. So don't worry. Um, I'm going to scrap some of this stuff. I love how some of these, like, go into each other. Is that yeah. supposed to happen? I mean, I think so. I'd hate for it to be the other way, where it doesn't let you put them next to each other. True. I mean, you can expand and collapse them if you want to. What is... Oh, true. Malachite is copper, right? Copper, yes. I'm gonna scrap some of the stuff that we're not using, like platforms and stuff. Just order some malachite real quick. Even though you're gonna go get for it. I mean, yeah, it's worth it. So this is another bug that bothered me, but is excusable because the automation update just came out. These auto arms, sometimes they get stuck. So you come up to them and they look like they're on, but it says turn on and you have to like, turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, and yes. then they start working again. And it's very annoying. I think that's a glitch of power. No, no, it's sometimes it is, but this one was not like this was fully powered. It showed it was on. I had to turn it off, turn it on in order to get it to work properly. Gotcha. Oh, we don't have any more. Oh, I'm going to steal this one. I really wish that the arms. Um, three, four, five. I don't know if you've noticed that for like the battery sensor and the power sensor, it's kind of like a winch where it has a little hook that you, you drag to an item and you say, turn this on or monitor this battery. Yeah. The auto arm should be the same thing. They should have a little short range winch hook that you attach to an item. You attach to two items and you say, pull from this, put on this. That's the way they should have done it. And that technology is already in the game or that yeah. interface is already there. But instead I'm you have to stealing... do these circles. I'm stealing some medium storages from random places. Yeah, that's fine. Like this scrap guy really doesn't need to be, you know, actually I'm going to, I'm going to replace it right now with just a small guy. I'm going to find some copper. I, th I th think the place I went to earlier, I actually got everything. I'm just going to, they are in mountainous regions. So find it. That's the cool thing about the, the, the rovers though, is that once you have it kitted out, right, you can just drive around forever. Yeah. With a good RTG. Yeah, it's, this game's really good. I just feel like we're starting to bounce against the boundaries of it. In terms yeah. of what is currently in the game and what you can legitimately do. Okay, so that's rocking.
Okay. Starting my plan to make a large rover train. Nice. Um, you know what game I downloaded? It's on Game Pass. Oh, no. I saw a thread online and people were saying it's actually really good. Ace Combat 7. Kind of excited. Oh. Yeah, let me know. I, I was thinking of it the other day, actually. Also, this weekend is... Or, sorry. Next Friday is Ghost of uh, Tsushima. I know. I'm very excited. Pretty excited for it, too. Um, hey, let me ask you a question. When you got your 4K TV, were there things or items in particular that you wanted to play or watch first because it was 4K and or 4K HDR? Um, no, not really. Um, oh, the first thing I did was I played some Red Dead Redemption 2 on my 1X because I wanted to see what that was like. Mm -hmm. Um... But the only other thing, like, usually whenever I get a new TV, I watch pl through all planet Earth. Because it always looks good. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, I, it's funny. With this TV, I really didn't do anything in particular. Because I was, I was looking at 4K Blu-rays. Because I was like, I have streaming services, but I really want to, like, not worry about bitrate. I just want to max it. But they're kind of, they're still kind of expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, gotcha. Bye, it's not. Bye. Hey, it's Nugget. Gotcha. Bye. Thanks for watching. I always, I always think it's funny. Um, like I don't. Like I do all my stuff on Plex, and I'm always like, man, this looks great. Until like I put in an actual Blu-ray or 4K thing, and I'm yeah. like, oh, this looks way better. What's your What's your Plex set at? Like, like, in terms of like, you can set it to be like always send at this. Bit yeah, rate. I, I said it to always do it uh, uh, like actual bit rate, not. Do you do low. you do you have problems where you'll be watching something and then it'll just like buffer for a minute and you have to back out and restart it? No. It's, there's some content, not even necessarily 4K content, just like let's say like 30 megabit per second, 1080p content that it does that to me, and it's really annoying because my computer is hardwired, and it's definitely should be able to handle that encoding and my xbox is hardwired ethernet and that's my big problem with with plex and it's really annoying because i've been using it lately so i i think there's just something going on i need to fix with it um because that's how i've been watching a lot of gundam oh gotcha yeah but yeah i'll just like i'll be watching it it'll be fine and then it'll just start buffering and then it'll just be stuck there for a minute. And then I have to exit out and restart the video. Not from the beginning, but from where I left off. There we go. I'm gonna put... Yeah, it's also funny, like, I have a bunch of random stuff on my Plex and, that I downloaded years ago. And yeah. uh, I'll, like, load it up and it's, like, DVD quality. And I'm like, oh, like, which is even worse Yeah. on the 4K. I I'm was like, going through okay, some of it's going through some of my drives and I have stuff like that. And I was like, I don't need this anymore. Oh man, I'm out of, oh no, I'm not out of copper. Oh, there's ammonium in here. So yeah, so I'm, I've got 4K Netflix. Hulu does some 4K stuff. Prime, Amazon Prime does some 4K stuff. YouTube does some 4K stuff. But I don't have 4K Netflix, but I, uh, the what I, like streaming just what it's at always looks fine. To yeah, me. because the TCL does a fantastic job of upresing 1080 to 4K. So it's it's not like it's they do a good job of not letting it look pixelated. Um, yeah, because I like you made me think about it. I wonder how much actual 4K content I've watched on my TV. There's definitely, you may have watched some YouTube videos. Yeah. But other than that, probably only games. Yeah. Cause I just really want to watch it pop, you know? Yeah, I don't, 
Yeah, you just made me realize, like, I haven't watched anything that, like, really popped or anything. I should throw some stuff up on it. Yeah. I think because I got it in, like, after we moved in and I was just wanted to get it all set up. Yeah. Like, I was excited to do um, some, what's it called? Like, HDR 4K stuff and get 4K Blu-rays. But they're either, like, the good movies. Like, I was going to buy, like, The Matrix. Because I found this website called Blu-ray.com, and they actually do a really good job of reviewing it, where they're like, this is, this uh, is, this Blu-ray says 4K, but it's really just the 1080p version up to 4K. Or they're like, no, this is straight from the 35 millimeter print, and it looks fantastic. Or they're like, this is from the 35 millimeter print, but they did a really bad job, and they added a color tone on top of it. So I was looking at it, and I was like, one of the ones they said was really good was The Matrix. And I was like, good movie. I wouldn't mind owning it, and I'd love to see it again in 4K. It's like $25 for the 4K Blu-ray. I was like, nope, too much. Way too much. Yeah. Um, they have the Blues Brothers in 4K, which I've never seen, for $15. So I was thinking about getting that. Starship Troopers was $15, which is fantastic, but I've seen it recently. So I'm kind of just like, the movies that I wouldn't mind paying for to get on 4K Blu-ray are too much. And the ones that are yeah. I'm fine paying like 10, 15 bucks for are not super encouraging, not super exciting. So I, but the problem is I really want to have something that I can throw in as soon as the TV is set up and be like, this is 4K HDR at its max. Let's see what it looks like. So I don't know. Yeah. I forgot. I remember when I first got it, I realized there was the Netflix 4K. Yeah. I should look into it. I think it. it's like 15. That's a lot. See, I've always just gotten my Netflix from Zach, so. Yeah, I get mine from my parents. I would have to ask him to upgrade. The funny thing is, my parents upgraded, and they didn't even. Before they even had a 4K TV, I think they just automatically upgraded oh, to it. Because gotcha. they still had the DVD plan until a couple of years ago. So I think. They just yeah. automatically got transferred over. Although I was super happy HBO Max has all the Ghibli movies. Yes. I should look up HBO Max. I was like, okay. oh. Although Netflix has Lupin the Third for some reason. And I don't think mm. HBO Max does. The new one? Uh, the new anime? It might be the new one. The new, like, CG animated one? Because that trailer looked fantastic. Um, it might be the new. I know they have the old one too, though. But I think I I've looked that up right now. I've seen the CG one recently somewhere. Oh, I'm looking it up, folks, because that I I've heard it's good. Lupin the Third in general, and then the CG trailer had so much character in it. I've never seen the original. I've Either I've played I. the arcade game, but I've I've never played the. Okay. Well. I've never seen the movie. Lupin the Third. The, Lupin the Third movie? Lupin Three the First. Is this is this right? It's the it's the Cagliostro is the name of the Oh yeah. The this movie? Is Castle of Cagliostro. Lupin Three the First. I'm just um there's this website called Real Good, R E E G L O O D, and they do a good job of like you tell them what streaming services you have, and you search, and it'll be like, this is available, this is not available. So this is not available for streaming anywhere, but I can mark it. Okay, so I can mark it want to see. So as soon as it becomes available, it will let me know. It's a cool service. Did you get? Um, yeah, but I realized I a whole bunch of my stuff wasn't full, so I'm going to just grab random stuff. Oh, okay. I've got two two rover packs, but I'm just short on copper for the third. Oh, this is gonna be like this is gonna be a little bit dirty, to be honest with you, because this thing's gonna be. Enormous.
And then I'm gonna do... I want this thing to be as enormous as possible. Mine's steel times three. Why am I losing stuff? I really can't tell what's happening. It'll shuffle around to different places, which can be confusing. If that makes sense. No, I feel like I, I had so much copper before and now I have like five spots. Do you have a resource canister on you that it's going to? Okay. By the way, that graphene diamond bug still exists, so I basically pull oh. all graphene off to that platform on the side so that it won't automatically pull. Steel. I need some carbon. Yeah, I feel like if I feel like if these auto arms are more reliable, I could really automate the sweep of Jesus out of this base. But you know, like I'd have the the atmospheric and the printers behind the resource. So then you would be like print this and it would be okay and it would just automatically grab the resources. But that would require them to work properly and for me to and for like some changes to the, how the arms work like if you could link you know how like if you have a storage on a platform and a printer on a platform it will pull from the storage connected to that platform mm -hmm. i want to be able to i want like a storage link that lets you link multiple platforms together so it pulls from all of them kind of like the like the cable extender because that would be great because then you could have all of your storage platforms connected to your printer platforms and it would just auto pool that would be crazy awesome yeah I'd... stuck underground. Just keep breaking tether lines too. I'm trying to think of um 4K games that I want to I oh this is what kind of got me there was it's a shame that Ghost of Tsushima is not 4K and even if it and would require PS4 Pro, which I don't have, to look its best. Yeah. Because if it was 4K, just fantastic timing. Like, brand new 4K TV, brand new AAA 4K release. But it's still going to look good, but... Okay, where, sh where do I go to dump all this? So, okay, so here's what you do. You take your resource thing, and you put it in this spot. So I'll, I'll do it for you. And then it's automatically going to smelt and dump stuff back here. And then the arms are going to pull off as needed. The only thing is oh. some of these arms, like they'll say they're on, but they're not actually working. So you'll just have to keep an eye on gotcha. it if they're not pulling it. And the other thing is the arms, sometimes they won't pull from the other side of the platform. So you'll have to like spin the platform sometimes. But usually I just let it go and I come back if there's a problem. Yeah, like if this game had factorio level automation like on top of the exploration. Yeah, like reliable automation. That would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Josh, who's been on a couple of streams, he's been playing a ton of factor or, uh, Satisfactory. Really? And I keep being like, I'm just waiting for them to have dedicated servers. Yes. Although he did have a suggestion that we should try uh, Deep Rock Galactic. He said he thinks it would be a very good stream game. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't fit sandbox though, right? But I have heard it's good. No, no, not for, not for sandbox. Hey, do you want to go dig again? But do you uh, want to take this newly built 
rover set up with you. I haven't put medium storage on it yet, but I can put some on here right sure. now. You want to start kitting it out? Yeah, let me bring the other rover out. Because the other thing is, actually, you should really put the canisters on here. If you go grab those other canisters. You know what I'm talking about? Which canister? So by the smelting area is some of the small resource canisters. So if you put those on the rover, then as you collect items, it'll automatically put it in a small canister. So over... Oh, no, sorry, by the shuttle. Yeah, there's a bunch by the shuttle. Oh, I see them. Yeah, throw those on there. Because those will fit on that, too. That's really what we should have on there. Okay, so I have... Do I have another... Oh, man, I need one more steel. Yeah, I think this smelting area is pretty much as good as it's going to get with the way this game is currently set up. Yeah, totally. Okay. Before you drive off, though, I'm going to put another resource canister on. Oh, this guy doesn't need to be there. Well, I guess I could put it. Never mind. I'll just put it. I'm gonna put another one on the front of this. It's just gonna take a little bit because it's almost done. Oh, do you have a... I'm gonna take the paver this time. Wait, 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 wait. Will, what are you doing? Why don't you just do... Oh, just... yes, sorry. Yeah. I know, I, I understand. Yeah, you can have up to three trailers thinking... on there. No, I know, I was... All right. I was thinking you were using the other one for Ooh, something. Oh, drive around to the shuttle. We can put a bunch more storage on there. Because there's stuff, unused stuff over here. Oh, yeah. I am going to change it. What'd you do with that that uh, cockpit? I just dumped it there. There's an extra one over here. Okay. I, I just want to put the one-seater on here. Because I don't need the two-seater. Ouch. Check your smelting area. This, sometimes this game like delays really weird. Yeah. yeah, see, you don't have to come over to the smelting area, but basically some of these arms are messed up, so I have to like turn them off and turn them on again. And now they're actually going to pull. No, that, like when I first set up that area, that's all I, I was doing. It's like fixing the arms. Yeah. Yeah, it's so stupid. Because then I, I couldn't tell if, like, where they were placed was broken or if the arms were broke. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess you're okay there. Yeah. All right. So let me put this guy on. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bunch more of these medium resource canisters. Because... I basically want this thing to be like 90% medium resource canisters. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, fine. I gotta. For all of these, we have to disable output so they suck in properly. That's what she said. Where's the paver? Oh, there it is. Oh, did you know shift click also works for medium items? It's kind of nice. It puts it in your hand automatically. Uh, very nice. Oops. You need more of these? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you got any more or no? I got four more. Okay. Sorry, I just can't. That's perfect. Yeah, right there's good. Yeah, so you should be able to go f for days on this. Sweet. God, that looks so cool. Yeah. So really I want to add one more trailer. We need more spines. I'm good to go. Yeah, you're good. Bye. Uh, what do you need? Copper? Yeah, mostly copper. I 
think the other stuff you can't... Ammonium? Definitely ammonium. I know you got some. I brought a ton back on that last Yeah, game. but we can always use more. The only problem is I wish I could do first person. Yes, agreed. You might have to turn the camera so I don't move to the side. I think I need to... So the the storage rack that you made... Looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to rework it slightly so that... Yeah, you can do whatever you want to it. Actually, no, it's pretty good as it is. I mean, it has this temporary storage, but I actually kind of like that. So basically, I don't know if you noticed, but it has a drive through area now with two arms. So if you drive up, it'll just pull a whole bunch of stuff off. Which is... Come on. Yeah, they really need to fix these arms. Yeah, it's like super frustrating. <laughs> I keep having to refine the microphone because I'm moving my head while driving <laughs> to like theoretically see around the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really good about the progress we've made in this game though. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, how do we make these? Medium resource canister is plastic and glass. What is plastic? Ooh. Plastic is carbon and compound. Copper. Nice, we got a, a lot of ammonium now. Thanks, Boo. Oh, good. This will go here. I just got a bunch more, so. Okay. Plastic is carbon and compound. So let me fill this up. Okay, I'm going underground. I also feel like they should add an endgame item, kind of like the RTG where it's a backpack extender. That would be great. Yeah, I I'm was so surprised that there wasn't yeah. one. I feel like it's such a like no brainer yeah. research item. Yeah. I mean they might have their reasons for not doing it, but But they're bad reasons for not doing it. They're bad reasons and yeah. The developers are terrible. I mean, for... make it like the hardest item in the game to make. I'm fine with that. Because yeah. the other thing is that, you know, without drill upgrades, you can use the slots on your drill. So it's kind of weird. It's like the better, the more you progress in the game, the less backpack slots you have. Because you're... F that's true. I never even thought about yeah. that. And that's like, that's frustrating. I understand that is like a middle ground where it's like a trade-off, but at some point I want to be able to say I'm good enough at this game that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Kind of like Factorio. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where's my compound?
Oops. I am eating mountains. Which my son. Make a whole bunch of plastic. I do love the rover, though. I feel like the rover basically solves a lot of the um, resource gathering stuff because, at least if you're on the planet that has the resource, you can just go gobble it up a lot. Yeah. The auto extractor is pretty cool, but it's just it's slow, and so it's it's almost like you're setting up an automated setup, but the auto arms, etc., and there's no conveyor belts. It's not good enough for you to be, rely on it. Okay, come on, dingus. Yeah, there's just, there's too many weird bugs and stuff, so it's a lot of babysitting in this game. That is fine early on, but it's not factorial. Yeah. You know. It's kind of like, um, do you ever play, well, you never played Overwatch, but basically Overwatch has this summer mode that comes out for a couple weeks in the summer called Lucio Ball. And basically, oh yeah, there's this character named Lucio who has like an air gun, like it's an air blast gun, so you can kind of like push people away with it. And Lucio Ball is basically just like everybody's playing as Lucio, and there's a ball, and it's like a Rocket League knockoff. And I love that mode because, ironically, it's awful. But within <laughs> within like three. Within, like, literally about 15 seconds of playing it, you go, oh, Rocket League is a fantastic game. Because Lucio Ball, the physics just feel awful. And mm -hmm. so you're constantly thinking about it. You're like, this isn't traveling right. It's not hitting right. It's not bouncing right. It's not really scoring right. This doesn't feel good. Rocket League, you never think about any of that stuff because it's working so well. Mm -hmm. So it's this, That's yeah, true. It's this weird thing where it's like, it's kind of like UI UX where they say it's like makeup. It's working if you don't notice it. Um, and it's making, this game's making me appreciate Factorio so much because of all the stuff that just works in that game. Man, I really want to go play Factorio now. I don't think I could. I think I'm too far. I never have the like wherewithal, but I'd love to just have like a game of Factorio going for like a year or oh, two. That'd be crazy. But I always like want to restart. Um, you want to get some quartz if you see it? We're running just a little. Yeah, I think I have a some. A little low on glass. That's all. I'm just making a bunch of these medium canisters. See, look at that. It's it's. It's not going to the other trailers. It's only going to the immediate oh, trailer. Oh, yeah, because the trailers, yeah, it's not the same platform. Does that make sense? Yeah, everything just shot off me. Yeah, so I think what you'll have to do is you'll just have to get out and manually switch the, the tall resource. What are they called? The silos every now and then. Yeah, that kind of stinks. Okay. Oh no, wait, I didn't need that. I need it. I'm a dingo hopper. That's holding ammonium. What's that? That's holding ammonium. See, I didn't need to bring the glass over there. What am I making? That is full of biological. Oh, and that's full of resin. Yeah, so I guess the rover design, I don't know, does that mean we should change the rover design or do you think it's okay to just swap silos every now and then? I think it's okay to just swap silos. Okay. 
This is holding compound. This is holding compound. Because there are technically the large silos, but those take up... Those would take up an entire rover. Or no, they would take up... You would only be able to fit two per rover, which I don't think is as good as having the silos with a whole bunch of different resource canisters on them. Yeah, I agree. Because I like the idea of like when you do a resource run, you take the large rover and the large rover train and you just go suck up anything you want and you come back and you have a whole bunch of stuff. I like that. Yeah, I think this would be better with all contain all medium containers. Yeah, so that's what I'm building right now. Yeah, and I have, I emptied out the one silo. So I have that ready for you. I think. Gotcha. Trying to keep home in my sights. Do you, you still need another trailer, don't you? Yeah. But I think I needed copper for that. Maybe. Let me go check. You could also, um, You could stray farther from home if you just uh, like know which direction you're traveling. Yeah, I I was. Oh, I see the I see the red beacon though. The other thing I was doing was um, I would just follow one of the tethers to the end, and then like try and stay nearby to the end of the tether. Yeah, I know. I I did a pretty, or at least we all did a pretty robust tether network. Oh, yeah. So you can usually find tether. Yeah, I just found tethers. Nice. That was something they definitely improved upon since the last time I played was there was definitely a point where maybe like 75% of the tethers we had, the, it would just start lagging like crazy. Oh. Uh, yeah, they seem to despawn and then respawn when you're near them. Yeah, that's a lot better. Oh, yeah. This is looking good, y'all. These. One, two, three, plastic. One, two, three, plastic. Go get some glass. One, two, three, glass. Yeah, I don't mean to keep dissing on the game, but I feel like I'm hitting... I feel like with Factorio, I never got close to the ceiling in terms of, like, optimizing efficiency, automation, etc. But with this, I think I'm pretty much there in terms of max maxing yeah. out what you can do with the systems. And that's a little frustrating because... I'm not good enough to, of a gamer to feel that in a majority of games. So if I feel that in a game, it makes me think the systems are not as deep as they should be. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Oops. A vehicle. All right. Let me know when you're when you're back, just so I can. Well, actually, by the shuttle is this next. I have a spine or silo that I'm filling with medium resource canisters. Because it's 12 medium resource canisters per spine, per silo. Okay, wait, no, wait, let's do the math on this. Okay, so each silo is 12 resource canisters. There's two, re two silos per trailer, so that's 24 per trailer. Let's ignore the lead. Well, let's let's consider the lead trailer, so that's... Six, that's seven silos. I'm bring up a calculator here because it's seven silos times 12 resource canisters each times 
32 items each is. Guess how many items we can carry on a fully loaded trailer. 1,012. So it's seven silos, 12 resource medium resource canisters each, and each of them holds 32 items. It's 2,688. Wow. That's pretty good. We could technically get... Actually, well, you know what? Let me... Uh, um... You okay? I'm gonna do a little math real quick. So, if we have one silo, and it has 12 resource canisters, and each canister holds 32, that's 384. But if we had seven times, we could get up to 2,800 items, but that's if we use the large resource canister, seven of them. But I don't like that solution. It's not as versatile. Okay. Two. Did you bring back copper previously? Yeah. Okay. There's like only like four of them. That's okay. I just, I couldn't remember if you had or not. So that, but that should be enough for me to build another. Because you have a train of two right now, right? Yeah. making sure okay i think i'm gonna come back or i'm gonna start heading back yeah maybe maybe after that uh, i'm probably gonna call it i'm getting tired yeah i forgot i will say the one good thing about hamilton is it has gotten me interested in the revolutionary war so i'm reading that 1776 book oh came out a while ago by, is that mccullough john mccullough yeah i only remember it because like everybody was reading it i haven't um, read that but i did read james adams john adams by john adams. Adams. which i can let you borrow and I then think I still um, have a copy of that if you want to read it oh yeah i'll read it and then uh i i, I want to read that hamilton biography because i heard it's also very good mm -hmm. And then the guy who wrote that also wrote uh, George Washington one. But I think by the time I get around to that, I'll probably want to stop reading about the Revolutionary War. So Yeah, that's fair. But who knows? Okay, I need to find my way back to you. Uh, let me know if you need help because we can do the planet navigation thing again. Yeah, I think, is it nighttime for you? No, it's daytime. I was just near it. I think if I go this way. Do I need aluminum alloy? Any more aluminum. You know what's cool? The icon for aluminum? is like the extruded aluminum shape profile. You know what I mean? Uh, like the channels. That's real neato. And the iron is like an I-beam. Rest of them, God help you trying to figure out what is what by the icon. Yeah, it's really annoying. Especially like the, the laterite and the lithium look almost identical. They just have like two fewer spikes on it. It's such a shame because like the art and design in this game is great. And then there's other things that are just no. so confusing. I got a lot of organic <laughs> because it's everywhere. That's fine. Make some carbon. Okay, I'm building your third trailer. steel Hello All right, did you make it back? Yeah, I'm here. 
Hi. Where are you? Okay, so. Hi. I think you got to go to the furnace first. Gotcha. Um. I got one. Oh my god. <laughs> thing is just a monstrosity. I love it. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get more power real quick by putting this on here. Yeah. No more so slow. Oh god. Um. Oh, I need carbon. That's right. Trying to make another. Oh, yeah, that's just a tube of or medium resource container of organic too. Yeah. So at some point we'll just. Th those ones are a little weird because if you turn on the output, they can flood the system so much that it won't dump from the furnaces the finished items. Gotcha. So it's kind of weird. You have to like dump it almost all the way full and then back off, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to stick it right here for now. Okay. Cool. I'm building you another large silo. Thank you. And then, like this, this glass arm here. Off, on. There we go. Now it's grabbing it. Carbon arm. Off, on. Thank you. God, that's annoying. And then the resin and stuff and the raw organic that you don't want to turn into carbon, you can come over here to the dump area behind your original silo. I also, I think there is something broken with the power. Yeah? I've never liked the power system. Because I, there's like, on this arm, there's, I think there's... Where's the carbon arm? On this arm, there are nine or ten RTGs, but these arms over here are still occasionally acting like they have low power, which is bonkers. Hey, carbon arm. Do you not want to take the carbon? No, you got to turn it off and then turn it on. I know, but it was just working two seconds I ago. know. <laughs> I know. And then you may have to, like, spin the platform. It's... They gotta fix that. Oh, but this this is excusable. They just came out with this update. Everything else, inexcusable though. Okay. Oh, where does aluminum go? Oh. Good boy. Okay. I'm gonna come. Adding another trailer. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's so. Look at this thing I'm about to put down. Oh, yeah, do it. <laughs> yes! It's so big. Okay. And then I'm gonna go grab. That's a bunch of resin on it. Too. The f and then these containers, I guess we can just plug in and you output over there and then they'll just input to the other one. Well, they'll output directly to the furnace. The 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 thing is, you got to leave room. No, no, sorry. These are like resin and ammonium. I put them over with the other mediums. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. You can just put them over there. And if I output them there, they'll just input to the other one. Yeah. Oh, this is just all sorts of gorgeous. I think I may need to build a large resource container for... for resin and organic. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. It's just... And, and we have that fully loaded silo on the back. So there's going to be seven of those once we're done. That's crazy. Oh. God, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I prefer this method to the auto extractor, because the extractor, I don't I don't think you've messed around with it, but it's just slow 
and it's big, so you have to carry it to where you want to place it, and then, like, have it dumped to a resource container, and then bring the resource container back. It's not good. Oh, that's, that's just gorgeous. Oh, I've got another one for you. No. I made a huge mistake. Stop. Oh my god, Will, this is gorgeous. Oh, and you've got that one going over there. So once that... I think you have... Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, you can't do seven if we have the soil canisters, but that's fine. That's quartz. That's graphite. That's compound. Lithium, ammonium, that one's empty, and then this one is compound. But just, just remember, you have to leave at least one space non-silo, because the arms don't yeah. dump to silos, they dump to an empty space. Yeah. Okay, so these three are still empty. It's just I lost one in the transaction. I think I think I need to fix this area so that you come up with this. We come up here. Well, we're we're moving to silos anyways. I mean canisters. Excuse yeah, me. but I was thinking if you pulled up here and there was enough canisters for every single type of raw resource you can get, including the smelted stuff, and then you would just have to manually pull the smelted stuff and push it over to the other area. So that way, when you come back with a full load, you don't dump to two places, you dump to one place. I think that's, that makes yeah, sense. that's a better option. Which I guess we could... I don't know. Because how many does this hold? This holds, this holds 10. The large T would hold what? One, two, three, four. It'd hold eight. See, the problem, it's not connected storage, so I really need one that holds more than 10. Because if the arm pulls and puts it on here, but it's on the other platform, it's not going to work properly. Wow, these large ones hold 400. Yeah. That's crazy. Do we have a copper? Oh, we yeah, do. it's it's the ninth. It's, yeah, I got it. Doesn't him. fit. This looks real good, though. Look at this honker. This dirty boy. I'm gonna um. Oh, that's that sucks. Well, you know what? I can move the power back here. I can give you one dirt canister, move that back there, and then I'll put the big silo up front. You see what I'm complaining about? No, I'm just dumping stuff. Because right it, it only dumps to the first to the the first rover, right? As you're drilling. Does that make sense, Will? Oops. So as you're drilling Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I rearranged it slightly so that you only have one soil canister on the front now. Well, actually, no, you know what? What am I doing? William, Yosef, it's crispers. What am I, what am what? I doing? I don't know, what are you doing? I'm making mistakes over here, by the way. I should be doing. Stop making them. I should be doing that. So that way you have power and double soil canisters and a full silo on the front one. You see what I did? Oh. And you dumped the full 12. That's very smart. Although you... Uh, is that seat wonky at an angle or no? No, I mean, you st the, the car camera is still the same. Gotcha. Um, I mean, I want to end the stream, but I think still... Uh, let's wait until this smelting is done. Yeah, I just want to finish this because it's so... Actually, there's resin here if you want to bring the resin over to the... Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll just quick swap it. 
I'm manually doing everything because it's easier. Oh, really? That's annoying. We built this. It's actually kind of really therapeutic. I love the, like, suction sound. Yeah. It's like... Click, click. That's the wrong one. I'm just throwing this over here so that it can at least so I can take that. This is empty, right? Oh no, it's got one carbon on it. Yeah, the big ones hold 400, but they take up a large slot. So where uh, is there ceramic? This honker is just gorgeous. It's just, uh, I'm not actually complaining about this. I think it's a good frustration point that not all resources are available on this planet. I just, part of me wishes it was so that we could just go around with this and collect every resource. Yeah. But it's understandable why you can't. I think that's a good design decision. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna just finish out the Stegosaurus. Let's let's finish out the Stegosaurus by putting all these medium storages on. Once you're done over there. And then we'll call it. Yeah. I had to sleep last night where even though I slept like nine hours, it felt like I was waking up every 15 minutes. Oh, I hate it's that. Just the worst. No. Um, well, I'm going to start our slow outro. Thank you guys for watching. We are Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. We've got a lot of fantastic content streams and edited videos. We actually have a brand new series that, fingers crossed, will be coming out this week or possibly next week called Pixel 8. It's basically a brand new series that uh, Will and I are co-hosting, co-creating in a way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where we, uh, let me put it this way, I found the high 8 millimeter camcorder that my family used in 1996, probably 96 to 2004, I would say. And um, we're just like running around doing gaming stuff with that. So, for example, the first episode is called Board Games and Stuff because we go to this great board game store in Maryland called Games and Stuff and we just kind of have a fun weekend playing board games. It's got a real like home movie, like, down to earth just having fun playing games board games video games whatever type of games we want to play um so that first episode is coming out it's just yeah well i think it it just it's oh, just amazing. it's like you know how sometimes you want a video to have a certain feel or aesthetic to it but it's hard to get that feel or aesthetic intentionally i mm -hmm. feel like we nailed it with the home movie feel. It definitely feels like a home movie and it's great. It feels like this thing is a monstrosity I, we made. I, Sorry, not to interrupt. I love this it. This is disgusting. And I don't I don't mean to say I we made because it's just you, it's, but it's yeah, disgusting. You drive it. I build it, you drive it. Yeah. Just the pilot. I love my freaking waddling character. You look like <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> it's like I'm constantly tripping and oh, catching. Oh, can myself. you can you drive it around to the shuttle? Because there's a whole bunch of medium storage over here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So so that's called Pixel Eight. Uh, I'm hoping to get oh, that up this week. Can't. Can't what? I can't drive from this position. <gasps> really? Yeah. No way. That sucks. Okay. Let me just. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I can't take that off with you in it because I was like, this go break the game. <laughs> All right, so you're going to have this and you're going to have one soil canister. Do you need the other soil canister? No, but I do need power. Yeah, so I was going to put this back here. That should be fine. Can you still not drive it? Oh, there you go. Oh, my. G I'm so happy you can't damage buildings in this. <laughs> Uh, so you can find us at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube channel if you have made it this far in the stream first of all we greatly appreciate it second of all give us a like give us a comment what are you doing over there buddy 
<laughs> They'll know. I'm out of Beautiful here. Beautiful bridge. Um, give us a like. Give us a comment. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe. Um, anything you can do to tell us that you like this video and we should make more stuff like it. And that YouTube should show this video to other people. Oh, <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, I don't understand how sometimes you can hit. Tethers. Sometimes you can't. Uh, tethers. I wonder if there is a, you know, do you know, well, you don't because you never played Space Engineers. There's a term <laughs> in Space Engineers called, I think it's called Clang, like C-L-A-N-G. And it's just a catch-all phrase for bugs and glitches. So they're like, oh, it worked great until Clang got it. I feel like Astroneer needs that, a phrase like that. So we could just be like, oh, it's just the, the Gerbil Gobble. Gerbil gobble means sometimes you hit mm -hmm. set tethers, Grim sometimes you don't. Google gobble, Google gobble. God, this is so gorgeous. This is pretty good. I'm very, um, very proud of this. You can Let's find see. Will on Twitter at Hunt27. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Thursday is the finale of Astroneer. We're going to kick off the end game and then we're going to glitch the server to oblivion. It's going to be great. I've been having a lot of fun with Astroneer. How about you, Will? I've been having a great time. It's a very good game. I'm glad we played it. I feel it. like this is one of our most successful sandboxes. I'm not sure if it's more successful yeah. than Sky Factory. Sky Factory was pretty successful. That was pretty successful. Um, so we're going to be streaming on Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. This Saturday, BT Dub will. Oh, also, I'm not stream planning. I'm going to bed. We can do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah, we can do that tomorrow. This Thursday, Astroneer. This Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm I'm not available to stream. Here's the thing. The 24-hour race is this Saturday, and it's going to end at like 9.30 p.m. Eastern, but uh, gotcha. I have to do at least six hours of driving. I'm trying to get out of driving 2 to 4 a.m. because I really don't want to, but I may have to. What was that? I did not know you could... If you hold F on thrusters, you can just ignite them. <laughs> It just went off. Oh, sorry. I almost died of oxygen because I was trying to frame a shot there. Um, so we'll see. We're not sure about Saturday, but don't worry. We're definitely streaming Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for watching. That thruster idea gave me so much enthusiasm for the glitch stream on Thursday because we can put that. Can you put a thruster on the bottom of a chair? Can you put the thruster on the bottom of a rover? I think you can. Uh, on the back of a rover? Oh, oh I wish wow. I didn't just... Anyways, folks, we're going to go. I'm going to kick it over to the cam. Thank you so much for joining, Will. No, we're not seeing the game anymore. Don't you do it. You're going to glitch <laughs> it, aren't you? Don't do it. No, it's a uh, spent one. But look, look at the back of this vehicle. Oh, no. There's room for two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. Bye-bye.